wait for it. My friends, Alfred Montaner here. And we got a video with K and J. Danny over here at his shop. And we got a surprise for you. Boom. Wait for it. You guys remember the bloop, 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 bloop that happened at the boat ramp. And um, I'm going to talk to Danny right now. He's back there somewhere. I saw him as soon as I... Wait, wait for it. Senor! Bro. We... We're at the shop. Where'd you get a trailer? Camp out. Camp out down here? Yeah. You're working on it right now? Working on it right now. Uh, I took the batteries out. I'm looking at all the stuff that I have to move to replace. Mm -hmm. uh, time out. Time out, time out. Here's what I'm going to do. Because, you know, comfort is no good here at a... Uh, I turn the fans off? I want to go there. Huh? You want to turn the fans off? Yeah. Only because I want to be able to hear what you say. Yeah. All right, let me go up here, guys. Hold on a second. This, this is, okay, so, there's a lot to talk about. And, and I, want to, I want to show a lot as well. The last time that they saw us together, we were basically salvaging the motors from being sunk because some drain plug situation that happened at the boat ramp. That's... Now we're just trying to put it back together. I got uh, the harnesses are coming. It's the only thing that, that's going to take the longest. I got everything already here that um, I'm supposed to go pick up. All the pumps, wires, battery switches, breakers, battery charger, bilge pump. I'm actually upgrading the bilge pump from an 1100 to a 2000 to have more, uh, more pump capacity, new flow switch, new payroll pump. And uh, so wait, you took something off here. You took, you took this the hatch to this. get to all the pumps. Okay. The hatch is up in the bow of the boat. Does that have wood on it? It has wood. No. Yes. Even here, you can see all the wood around the, the hatch. For me, that's, that's a big disrespect for me. Great you want to do better than that. Bare wood. But yeah, right here. I'm surprised about that. Okay. I'm very surprised about that too. I would have never thought, look, you see there? Look at the hatch. The cutout. It's just plywood. Okay, question. Um, what's the game plan real quick so I can... The game plan, um, I already started in the process of removing some of the things to see it all, all evaluate all the stuff that we need to replace. And I already got a list all the stuff I got to replace. I got to replace all the wiring, battery cables, batteries. The all this wiring back charger. here, all this wiring back here has to be replaced? Yeah. Everything. Everything. Everything, everything, everything. everything gone. Everything, everything. Gone. Um, all the battery switches, you see everything, how it turns green? That's from uh, electrolysis, you know, when it goes underwater. Mm -hmm. So all that stuff got, got to be replaced. There's breakers here that I already removed to see the amperage and stuff like that. All that's got to replace. Um, the only thing that is going to stay is, is the, um, the steering hoses and the regular plumbing, you know, the hoses. Anything, but, um, anything surprise you that you saw while actually, you, were, you were taking off? It's Any? actually in better shape than what I thought because, we, you know, it, it wasn't underwater for too long. And two, we got, you know, we cleaned everything up right away and got everything on time. Yeah. Even so, the engine so harnesses. So what we that did bad. that day helped a lot. Helped a lot. Because we, we hosed everything down as well with, with fresh water. With fresh water, which that neutralizes it, you know, the, the, the corrosion on, on everything that you spray down. Because the salt water doesn't keep working on there. Now, the, also the fact that it wasn't on or the, the, the okay. on and off switch wasn't on or the boat wasn't that on. That helped too. That helped, right? That helped a lot of corrosion on the engine. You see the engines don't, don't look bad at all. Normally if the batteries would have been on, you see it in all the bolts and all that. You see a lot of corrosion in all the bolts. Okay, so parts we're doing from where when 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 you're doing from the, the back half I'm of the boat replacing everything from here which there's not much here from there on i'm replacing everything 
from from here, yeah. which is essentially where it was under. Ba under. Yeah, because everything up here is fine. Everything up here is fine. None, none of this went underwater. Yeah. You know, the GPS, all, all the monitor, all the switches, all, all the accessories from there on didn't go underwater. Shift and throttle cables, I'm changing because the motor system went under. Mm -hmm. They're good now, but within time, water gets inside those shift and throttle cables and they get real stiff. Okay. And it's, it's a safety issue. It's like, you know. Okay. They don't work at any, not, not as, as responsive as, as they should have so been. So you're, you're, you're you're basically did it like, hey, let's do this by the book, make sure that this person is prior to where he was to this situation happening. Yep. Did, did um, the adjuster look at the boat yet or no? The adjuster did look at the boat and he quoted him about $2,000 worth of damage, which that's way, 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 way too low. Wait, 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 time out, time out. Just the engine harnesses alone cost more than, than 2,500 bucks. Okay, so the, the insurance saw the, the damage? Saw the damage. And he was the, the insurance company was trying to try to write him a check for twenty five hundred bucks, which I think that's way too low. And I told him that, so he didn't take it. Now he's working the insurance, fighting with him. Okay, but did you get a go ahead from the customer to start? The customer says go start no matter what. If the insurance wants to pay for it or not, I want my boat back. So the customer. Well, gave let me, the green let me light tell you something. I've gotten a couple of emails because there is a big, and, and this is not to start a chit show, right? Because mm -hmm. we just want to show the process of getting it started from where it was prior to this situation happening to this person. But I, I already got a couple of comments and stuff like on the West Coast because of the hurricane and their boats and what happened in that scenario. And that's a huge problem for a lot of people right now. A huge problem. Because the same thing what you just said, right? The expectation is one thing and then all of a sudden what you're getting is another. And obviously that's a huge problem, but whatever. We're not here for that. Um, so the, the customer said, Go ahead to do it. Go regardless. ahead and do it. No, regardless if the insurance wants to take care of it now or not, none of that wants, wants to take care of it. Who wants to fix? It's, okay. You know, a lot of people always assume, you know, they, it's an insurance job or anything like that. This is not the case. A customer wants to pay it out of pocket. Go, you know, go ahead with it, and then he'll deal with the insurance later. Well, and he, he we, just he, wants his boat back. He wants his boat back because he, wants he bought his the boat, boat and he never got to enjoy. He never got to use it. So okay, so so you you have a trailer that you guys had to get from Camp Out, Camp which, out. Is, which is a local trailer. Um, place down here where people get trailers, trailers and rent them and stuff like that buy them so like i might have footage of you guys pulling in or pulling out did you did you did you float it onto the actual boat ramp or did yeah. they pick it up i picked it up myself in my, my own personal truck i know at, don't do at that, the boat ramp boat, boat ramp or or did they put it from the from the boat from ramp, the fork? Boat ramp. so so you floated it on there well normally the forklift drivers dropped it in the water they okay. wouldn't help help them move it over since in the marine business we would know each other very well, Frank he don't own something. He works the, you know on boats the same way we do, and he was there luckily, and um, he used a customer boat that let him borrow the boat to tow the boat to the to to the to the ramp oh, wow. to get that's, it out of the water. So that was a huge that, help. That's luckily cool. he was there. That's cool. Okay. Um, wow. So. What have you taken off yet? Have you taken anything I've off? I've taken the batteries off. And I disassembled some of the stuff to, to, to see how, how deep was the damage. I took some of the breakers, but I haven't taken much off. Today, I'm going to start ripping all the battery cables and running new cables already, starting to run all the battery stuff. And um, I'm going to start disassembling all the pumps, bay wheel pump, salt water wash down, all that stuff that, that's in there. Same thing with the water separator filters. I'm replacing all those. Since it went These underwater. speakers also, too, went under, right? The speakers. Yeah. You can see the one I removed already from that side to see the model of the speaker, which those speakers are, are discontinued. They don't make those. So I found some other ones that they, they're direct replacement. I have to reuse the same grill. Because if you see, they're not white, they're off-white. You see them? And they don't make that off-white color anymore. But I managed to get, you know, speakers that, that'll work in match form again. All I have to do is reuse the grills. Okay. Um, wiring. So you're gonna do half of the boat. So what do you what do you do? Do you connect it or no? How, I'm how gonna run it from point A to point Z. Like the wiring for the float switch. Okay. Run a brand new wire right right to all the, the way all the way over. So so Bill's pump, same thing. Okay, you know, so essentially that, it's not just the back from where the line where where because here. So you're running it all the way to from well, from from A well, to Z. Yeah. So okay, so so essentially the the, the wiring is gonna be redone. On, a, uh, on all this, this it's going to be a partial wiring is going to be redone not complete rewire because the boat didn't go completely under but all the wiring that, that went let's say from here to the console I got to replace like bilge pump wire I got to replace from point A to point C um, 
the good thing is batteries and everything is all back here so it's less things to have to run to the bow of the boat or mm -hmm. to the console so mainly you know the bay well the, the salt water wash down that's you know mainly the stuff that i have to run forward all right well it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because these boats they got prefabricated you know rig uh, wiring which is, is a little bit of a pain because they tie it all together but look at all the green huh is that uh from the salt water already here um you can see even the pump where it took you know the salt water the erosion on the pump already you can see on the positive terminals here how uh, everything is, is green already you can see corrosion yeah that's that's from going under so you know all that stuff back here has to go all right um so here's what we're going to do because i want to show the I don't think we'll be able to show, I can't show the entire process, but here's, yeah, well, it is. So how long is it going to take you to do it? I'm thinking I'm going to start today. I'm trying to have the boat back to them. If everything goes well by next week, end of the next week. Okay. Is there a possibility that I can do the sea trial with you when uh, you guys? If the customer is, is, is okay with it, the owner of the boat, I'm all good with it. He's like, bro. He, do what doesn't, you? he doesn't yeah. want to be in, he didn't want to be in the camera he's but, he's, he's a private dude bro yeah i didn't want to you know I don't and i understand that and i understand but look he's cool enough to say listen film everything i don't i don't have a problem with that yeah. he's, he's okay with that but yeah. I, I don't know if, on the sea trial if, if he's going to be okay with okay, that okay well That's listen we'll throw him off his own boat okay <laughs> and uh, me and you will do a sea trial on the boat yeah because oh, like oh, a, we'll hide him in that nice little cabin he has look he has, uh, a, he has a, 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 a head there yeah there's a head there's a head Luckily, none of that stuff went underwater, you know. So no, that's, yeah, that, that's good. I mean. Even uh, the stereo didn't go underwater because water was only about to here. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, look, the good thing is that we have, we have everything also um, recorded. Yeah, so it's all so, documented. Yeah, so that's the beauty of, of a camera, right? Like, and, and you know, I talked to Abel, Captain Abel, mm -hmm. which was the lobster guy. He ha actually was the only other person at that time that was there when he saw them drop the boat. And he said, yeah, they just dropped it off and they left. And he said, it was pouring, it was raining a lot. And he was like, no, I had to wait about 45 minutes. And then he sent me a video on WhatsApp, which I put on my socials, of him out in Biscayne Bay while it was calmer and it still looked like a shit storm as far as how bad the weather was. Yeah, and, and not only that, when you take the drain plug of a boat and, you know, and not, Put it back when, when you launch it in the water. That small bilge pump will never keep up with the amount of water coming in. The intake of water, the water intake to what is coming out, it will never keep up with it. You know, I want to do a test. We'll see what will happen if you haul ass on a boat while the drain plug it is off. The water out. Yeah, I've been through that before. Okay, and, it, and, it I, and, I, and I wanted to say, I wanted to show people that because God forbid you forget your drain plug haul ass and get back home as fast as possible so you can drain whatever water is in there um so and i, I might do a video on youtube so so just so people and i got a rib boat so it's not going to sink right no but, no, but let me tell you they will flip well listen okay, i won't take i won't take it to that point but I, I i the point that i'll try to prove is that you know in this case by the time he was able to get to the boat um you would have you would have thought that somebody would at least waited in the truck or the car or whatever they were towing it and say hey listen um wait for the customer to come instead of just leaving and say hey you we left it there on you know ramp seven yada yada and by the time you come in you know all that happens so that's that's irresponsible the way i see it if you deliver a boat you know that is not yours you just don't leave it there you have to you know make sure at a minimum you gotta there. have somebody sign something yeah. at a minimum you, you just don't leave at and a minimum that's you know that transporting company if I was him, I would never use that transporting company again because I have no respect for that company, ever. Well, well listen, um, I think there's going to be learning uh, scenarios here throughout the, the whole journey, right? And that's why I want to document it and uh, see what happens, you know? Um, and the good thing about my channel is that it is what it is, bro. I mean, there, I don't care. The customer is cool with me documenting what's going on. I don't have advertisers that I have to worry about. Um, I don't have uh, allegiances to any companies and uh, listen if you have a shit show behind your sin the way you're running your business then behind the scenes there's gonna be people who will say listen don't use these people and don't use that people and for this and that and not 
you know so um, I try not to obviously call people out publicly because you know that's not really so, that, what I kind of do I don't normally don't do that and, and, and I won't you know put any names out there but at least you know that's that's wrong because imagine if you deliver somebody else's boat and they keep doing it over and over again it becomes a problem that's, well, well this that's is a big this is, this is a big problem for this customer so exactly but whatever listen um hopefully the next time I see you maybe I, I get a little bit of documenting when you're actually doing the work work we'll do a little follow-up and then um, I don't know we'll tie it into this long video I guess all right guys Danny KJ anything else you want to say Danny let us know that's it I'm gonna start Daniel you know, jumping on and getting it done and hopefully by uh by next week Friday I should have it already back in the water back in, in the business Danny, which is the switch for the fans, real quick? Right there. You can see that I'm right by, by, by the oil there, right in front. Right in front of me. There's, there's a little search and check and bottom part. Right on top. Right on top of the front of the wheel. <laughs> All the way towards the wall. Right? Now go down. Can you see that right above? There you go. Brian, every time I come here, I feel like I'm taking over the shop. Oh, yes. it's, it's like your wife. I know she's there somewhere. She's lingering over there, trying to find some parts. Don't mind me. All right. About a week has passed by. You got a fresh fade. We can we we can prove it's a different. We can prove it's a different day. Um, I see some things already done. Working on the shifting throttle cables right now. You're putting the, the new, shifting crop. New, new couplers that are going here because one of them was torn. So don't even have ends on, on it yet. Some of them already have ends already. That one has no ends at all so I'm still. I think they have the ground. But uh, you can see. Still working on it. What year is this boat again? 215, right? It's a 2015. So all right, all right, let's a go. Pain, a pain, a pain. All right. You have to take what out? This whole panel getting here, which is not fun working in this console, I can tell you that. I was trying to. Are, is, are, you, are you doing the, the shift and throttle? Is that what you're pulling right now? Yeah. The shift and throttle? The shift and throttle. Which is here too, right? Get into this console is hell. Every time I gotta get in here, I hate it. Let me see. see there's barely any room in there. Gotta thank the Razor White for, for how uncomfortable they are to work on. Hey, listen, Grady White doesn't uh, anticipate someone to not put a job, their drain plug at the boat ramp, dude. It's not their fault. It's not their fault, but for the money that people pay for this boat, you guys could do better. All right, well, constructive criticism here on the chit show, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put you on blast. You, you yeah. can do better. Okay, um, Suzuki, you were telling me, I was talking, asking you questions about Suzuki the other day when I was with Captain Abel. Did you see that video? I saw that le, le, I le, the lobstering. Badass, bro. Let me tell you, those Suzukis are winning me over. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm in the market for an There's engine. Nothing wrong with Suzuki. People talk bad about them. But put them on blast. What are you going to say? What do you tell I me privately? No, yeah, you anything. do. You did tell me something privately. They, they're a little shaky. The 200s, they're, they're shaky at idle, but other than that, that doesn't oh, bother me at all. But what else do you say? Is there their workhorse? They're, there, but there's also one thing. Engine harness. There you go. The wires are very thin and brittle. Okay, that's what. Now Captain Abel was like, bro, my my Suzuki, he's got a 250. He's like, 8,000 hours. The hours will hurt him. A lot of people think hours hurt him. Let me tell you, what hurts him is people not using them. Yep. You got to use your boat. If you don't use it, sell it. Yeah, sell it, sell it. All right. Um, so all the wi wiring, everything that we looked at, all that's already been changed. Almost. I got a few things I have to do in the console still. Oh, look at this. This looks all brand new too already. All that is brand new. So this is all brand new. Only thing that's ugly there is just the shipping toilet cables are in my way right now. But you can see all the battery stuff. All brand new stuff. You can see the charger. Hold on a second, Danny. This. 
You can see all the wires running across the back side of the battery. You can't really see it there, but. Hold on, hold on. This camera's trying to give me a hard time. And my camera's saying, hey, dude, I don't like these angles. You know what that is? You give people a hard time. That's karma, bro. That, that's you. I'm not, I'm not having said nothing. That's karma. This light sucks. Look, the light sucks. Everything sucks. Everything's not worthy of, of Danny. No. How'd you marry this man? Is that at home, too? I don't like the damn ceviche you just made me, babe. No, you can't do that. You're going to get thrown out of the house. <laughs> All right, all right, wait, wait. So, all brand new, yeah, batteries. New breakers, windless, all new breakers, new switches over there. And it's all, this used to be all moldy too, besides the corrosion. I saw also there that you had, um, yeah, they're all brand new, perfect. So. I saw also that you have some speakers over there on the thing too. Yeah, those are the speakers. I had to find the speakers somewhere else because Fusion discontinued those off-white speakers. So I are found you... these speakers and I've got to reuse the same grill. I got to match up with the rest yeah. of the speaker on the boat because there's speakers here and there's speakers on the bow of the boat also. So are you... if not, you have to replace all six of them. Are you saving? Look at this. Are you I'm saving sa everything. Are you saving everything that, that was ruined? Yeah, down there. You can see right there, I'm saving everything from the new boxes of all the stuff I replaced to old crap that I removed. Down Pumps, there. Everything's all down there. Like that, when the customer comes back, you can see everything that I Yeah, replaced. just tell them, listen, just have the box and take it to the insurance company and tell me 2,500 bucks. Yeah, give me 2,500 bucks. Look, all the stuff that had to be changed. Drop it right there in, the, in, in the front office. Don't even get me started. Um, okay. And I still got to replace some of my other harnesses that's up there. If you see it next to the speaker. And also on those other boxes there, those are the trim relays and the start relays also. Besides, okay. there's two other harness, the main harnesses that I have to replace on the engine that they won't be here until the end of the month. Okay, so we, we almost have Christmas time. Like, do you, is there a day that you, you shut down? Um, I'm going to shut down the last week of December. And I won't start until the beginning of the year. But I'm going to have this boat for them. Even with that harness, it'll be seaworthy for them for now until I get the harness and then I'll replace them while, while the boat's in the water. So that's the only thing that's not, not available yet? It's not available, it's backwater. Okay, There's okay. nothing I can do about that. Okay, but, but, but we, we can probably do a sea trial on this boat? We will be able to do a sea trial on the boat. All right, so I'm thinking convince the customer. It, launching it at Homestead and okay. driving it to Black Point. All right, I'm down. That's, that's what I'm planning to I'm, do. I'm, all right, I'm down to do that. I'm down. I mean, if, if the customer says he's down, because like, like that, he could get some run time, you know, from Homestead Bayfront to Black Point Marina. Either, either, either way, it's not that far from, apart from each other, but at yeah. least he could have some time to drive so, the boat, and so, then I'm going to have to come back and get the trailer again and bring it all the way to camp out. But all right, I'd so, rather do that for him. Like that, he could have some run time. All right, time so listen, um, I mean, if he says, let's go, vroom, vroom, vroom. It's up and we'll do, we'll do a video on a Grady White. And then look, now we, we know the insides. Oh, this is an older one, so we can't compare it to a 2022, 2020. They might have fixed some of these things that are a challenge to I you. I hope they did, because look, even, even around the country, you can see all the wood. Look, look, look. Look in here. Spare wood. And if you look in here, I don't know if the camera will catch it. On the cutout inside the console, there's wood, bare wood. They probably put one layer of, of, of mat in a lot of places, joke over it, and the wood is, is bare. All right. Which... There's nothing wrong with wood, it's strong, it's just, well, you need to step the game up to newer stuff. Some people that are old school will say, wood is much stiffer, wood and, wood it's, and, it, and it's gonna ride better. Oh, I'm telling you what the old school guys are gonna tell you. I, I know guys that 100% say, bro, listen, get me all that Kusa board and all that shit that's garbage compared to, you know, some plywood, the marine plywood, da, 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 cause that's their old school I thinking. I used to be the same way. I oh. used to think wood is the way to go, but guess what? With newer Tagali and the Kusa and all that stuff, yeah, it's lighter, but, it's still it's strong and you didn't have to worry about, you know, 10 years down the line cutting, you know, soft spots on the floor and trying to match that diamond non, non skin. It's almost impossible. You could do it, but it's not the same. It will All never right. be the same. Well, I haven't been on this particular model on the water, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm sure it writes good. I'm not saying that the boat's going to write bad. I think it's going to write fantastic. I'm just not happy with the wood. Bro, let's go ahead and just burn the place down. <laughs> all right guys all right well listen up the progression is happening here 
Um, Damn. So cut some more tire how many out. how many days? Like almost two weeks, a week and a half you've been at this? Been about a week and a half. Um it's a lot of work dude. This week will be the second week Friday. Which I'm planning to be but this Friday is the, the latest. You're before. you're in the you're in the finish line already. I am in the finish yeah, line. Yeah, that's it. I mean everything looks pretty much done. And I'm sure that you got people along the way. These um, are the shift and throttle cables here, which got You like this particular brand? Yeah. I think the stronger the thicker. The stronger, thicker, which is another one of the Yamaha ones, but um, these are very good in cables and, and the ends too. They, don't, they don't, you know, if you see the ends, they're probably just 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 about the same as the Yamaha ends. If you match them one to another, we can reach it there. You can see. Look at the difference. Barely any difference on them. From an original to uh, to Uflex. Uflex makes a great great cable. All right, guys. Well, listen up. It's going to happen. I don't know if we're going to do a, just a sea trial video, but I definitely wanted to show, like, the reason I do these videos is so somebody doesn't freak out when something bad happens. There's, 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 a, there's hope. There's, there's a Danny in everybody's city in America. Maybe not in all the cities, but there's somebody that can work on something and do something in a lot of places. Maybe they don't have access to, to Danny from K&J. Obviously, we have you down here in Miami. So when I had that issue over the down south, the first person I called down south is Danny. Danny, if it's Little Havana, I'll call Rodolfo because that's the that's song for Rock. You know what I'm saying? If I got to go to, to, to Eric from Montemarie, I know all you guys, right? But you guys all are busy and I have to see who can help who when, you know? When I saw that guy in that situation, he said, dude, I just bought this boat and this is the second day. I didn't even, I didn't even start this shit up. I felt bad, bro. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to call Danny. And, and, and you weren't feeling the best either. You know? No, I'm actually doing better now. Before, I, you know, that day I went, I was still struggling with pain. Yeah. Um, and, and like I tell everybody, when these boats are built, they, they're, they're just fiberglass, matting, and, and, and resin. So if something does happen, you can always, you know, fix it. Yeah. It's just, it all depends on how far you want to go with, with certain boats. You know, if some boats are too old, it's better just to let them go. Yeah. That's just what, what I tell anybody. It's no different in a car. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about doing a sea on this. Get it done. Call me. Tell the customer if he's cool with it. And uh, I don't know. We, if we have to lock him in the console there, the tight console, <laughs> in, the, in, the, in, the, in the head. We got to bring the, 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 the old face mask for COVID on. on. Let him put the face mask on. <laughs> Hey, it's coming back, bro. That's what they're saying. Oh, they're putting, man. now they're calling it, they call it the triple demic. <laughs> no, they don't need to come back with that stuff. No, no, listen. They're calling it the triple demic now. Tell them to stop. They need to find something else. Yeah, they got to find something else to do. It's getting old. Yeah. Um, Danny, anything else uh, here that was swapped out other than? Engine oil, I, I, I replaced, and the water separators in there too, I, I changed. Um, you know, engine oil, this one had very little contamination in it, which I flushed it out, which I got in, uh, oil in there that I'm going to flush out, run it for a few seconds and flush it again. Um, that one had zero contamination in it because that one obviously didn't, didn't go as far under as this one. But other than that... But this one, we, when, we took off the, when we took off the spark plug, water came out of the, the area as well, also. Only, only two, but this one went under more. But yeah, but, but still, it still got water in there because it was the top two, the bottom two. Bottom two. Bottom two cylinders, because I remember. Get it from the intake runner, from the bottom, from the yeah. intake runner on the bottom. But look, look, the reason I say that is because the perception is that, oh, the other one didn't get nothing. And when, when we fired it up, when you put the starter on it, remember, because that's how you flush it out. You take the spark plugs out, and then you turn the thing, and, and who was behind? Who was behind there? Me. And I, I, was, I was like, damn, I know I ruined my, my audio. Actually, my audio got ruined that day. Not, not because of you, because of the rain. the rain, because of the rain. We had a horrible rain. Welcome back. Start, let it run. 
park the trailer. Go. Let's I'm see the first. Lock too, to lock let, that trailer, I, let's see. Let's see. Uh, the first startup after everything has been done. Wow, you washed her and everything. Man, damn, you're a classy dude. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. On and off switches are on? Yeah, I just turned them on already. Let's see, guys. I don't even hear them. Why are you going to turn them on, dude? They're on. Come They're on, on, dude. I'm serious. I'm serious. They're on. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's back. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. It's back, guys. The Grady White is back. Wait for it. Wait for it, it is back. Guys, the Grady White is back. Oh man, what a good feeling, guys. There's a sign, guys. There's a sign. There it is. There it is. We're out of Black Park Marina! Oh man, such a great feeling. So far, no issues. It does. It sounds like really you. good. Look, look. I was cool. Those engines have 640 hours. You got somebody on your. You got somebody behind us. Yeah, 
Now guys, you cannot catch lobster, and the only reason I'm saying that, there's a buoy right there, you can't catch lobster in Biscayne Bay, but you can catch blue crab. So, yes, you can buy, um, you can catch blue crab, but not lobster on Biscayne Bay. And right now we're on Biscayne Bay. It is a little choppy. First time the customer drives the boat, and um, he's, He's obviously seen the differences of how this boat navigates compared to his other boat, which had uh, some mercuries on there. So he had a fly-by-wire. These are, these are mechanical throttles, so it's a difference, right? But all these cables are brand new as well, so they're, they're really, really smooth. But she sounds good, guys. And like I wanted to tell you guys from the beginning, I know it sounds horrible and it looks horrible when it happens. But look, look at it as a blip in the radar of your life. And uh, if you're persistent and uh, you, you know the right people and you make the right moves in the beginning, you'll be fine. We did it, guys. Hey. All done. What else do you want to tell? Another blue, blue, blue for somewhere or no? That's it, no more blue, no, blue? No, I don't want to do it. Sunday call, Alfred, don't answer the phone then. I, I'll help you, but I don't want to do the singing no more. All right, guys, we're coming back. Alfred Montaner, here. Danny from KJ, give him your number. 305-600-7642. We're out of here. Hey, big shout out to the customers for letting us do this. Um, come here, come. Ex if it doesn't let's get, or fly, let, I don't let, know let, Let's get the backdrop. To look over here. Get, what's your credits, okay? What are your credentials, real quick? Well, I'm an aircraft inspector. And Certified Chicho Captain? Chicho Captain. Okay, so tell me what happened. So, okay. elaborate. What happened? Well, they dropped off the boat. They didn't put in the plug, which is the, normally the first thing you do before you put a boat in the water. Before you, would, you back it in, you put the damn plug in. But we are here, okay. and... They, they obviously didn't do that. No. But, but the good thing is high tide is here. Yes. Low tide is coming. Exactly. So we might not have a bloop, bloop, bloop anymore in a little while. Exactly. All right, guys, stay tuned. I don't know. I don't know. But with lower tide, it'd be harder to make it buoyant to get it out.